everybody and welcome back um, to my channel. It's now officially snowing. I just got done at Walmart and everything, but um, welcome to my weekly vlog in the car this week because I am going home. It's um, Saturday, I did grocery shopping, and I'm going home for the day. Uh, I got plenty of groceries. I ended up spending a little more at Walmart than I wanted to because of, well, I got a bunch of ramen. At 30 cents a pack, guys, you're not going to argue with that. But I ended up uh, spending a little more at Walmart than I wanted to, so I had to use my card so I could have stopped off, put what I had left in my wallet, save for four bucks, back into my account. So I'll have it back in there. So I'm not just sitting on $100 that I don't absolutely uh, positively need, which is good. Um, let's see. Yeah, so now I'm stuck in traffic waiting to get through so I can get home because it's going to be a long, snowy day. I got pizza at home. I got leftover pizza at home uh, for dinner, for lunch, actually. I should have texted my mom to take fire up the oven. I don't know how I do that. It's going to be that long of a video, so I'll probably do that then. <clears throat> or I'll quit calling because I am using my new phone uh, for my videos. Yay. But um, I wanted to talk about some things this week. So... Uh, first of all, I apologize last week that I didn't do a vlog. I actually spaced on it. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I did. I spaced. I was a space cadet last week. Uh, there's just a, with <clears throat> Christmas and everything else, <clears throat> I was completely just wiped. And my work week was honestly not as hectic yesterday was i think yesterday and wednesday were about the most hectic days i had at my work week so i like how i was kind of uh so politely informed by my supervisor hey you're clocking in a little later than you should be and it didn't dawn on me because i was in the middle of i had to uh, fix a problem that or i got an answer back to a question from the day before and I was trying to figure out an answer to a few other things. I'm trying to go, okay. So what, um, I'm trying to go through all this. And then it sunk in on me then at like 10 o'clock, I think. Yeah, it's like 10, 10, 30. It sunk into me what my supervisor had just said to me. And I'm like, wait a minute. I'm 8.30 to 5. So me clocking in at like 8.15, 8.20, it should be Okay, so I sent her a message, and I was just like, I apologize. I didn't know if I had to be here and clocked in by 8, because I'm 8.30 to 5. But I can be here by 8. That's no problem. And then she replied back with, oh, crap, I completely forgot you're 8.30 to 5. I apologize. <laughs> yeah, I'm the, odd, I'm the oddball. I'm not the 8 to 4 like um, everybody else in my department is. I'm the oddball out. I'm the one that starts at 8.30, and I end at 5. That was my, and they asked for um, anyone that was willing to do that. Uh, I stupidly rose my hand, and I got to do that. So that's my little deal. deal. But anyway, I have had a lot of time on my hands at work. So I've actually uh, been working on my journal for the issue that happened to me last April. And it was Thursday I kind of came to this uh, realization. And the realization is I feel like I'm ready to move on from it. my mind it's not worth the time and effort or the trouble anymore to deal with it and honestly it, it's scary that I'd be that that I'm at that point now I mean I didn't know first of all I never expected I never knew how it was going to go and I always and I will say this to anybody out there that experienced something similar to what I went through I um hate it with a passion the advice uh you will get either from the internet or from other people it is the worst advice ever. My friend Jill gave me good advice. Um, my friend Andrew, uh, Robin, and my coworker Michelle, all three of them uh, gave me good advice. My friend Andrew and Michelle were the last two to give me the advice. And I think that's what kind of finally sunk in my head that, you know what, I think I can, I, I think I'm ready to move on from this now. Uh, but for those that don't know, are new to the channel or don't know what the hell I'm talking about. So back in April, I stupidly told a friend of mine how I felt about it and I told her right as she met her girlfriend 
and they moved in together the uh, following weekend. So that was the thing that happened. Uh, it wasn't good, but it happened. That led to me going on a three-day Dr. Pepper bender, and I haven't touched a drop of Dr. Pepper since. I have had a couple sodas since then, but I have not touched a drop of Dr. Pepper at all. Not a drop. Not a, not, not a drop of it have I, have I touched. So that's something, uh, to say the least. But, yeah. But as I was writing in my journal on Thursday, quick at work, I was... It was just coming to me like, I think I'm ready to move on. Like, this was it for me. And that's, it, it's scary. I'm not going to lie, it is scary. But I do hate, like, so I could, <clears throat> sorry, like I was saying, I do hate the advice that a lot of people are giving with stuff like this, where it's, oh, well, you need to just focus on something else. Try to distract yourself from it. Here's the deal with a lot of people, okay? It might work for certain people. It will not work for everyone. I am one of those types of people. I cannot distract myself from a problem. If I have a problem, I'm trying my damnedest to solve that problem. That is my entire ordeal. That is my that is my function. If I have a problem, I'm at a stop sign, by the way. I'm like third in the queue. It's a stop except for a turn sign, too. So since I'm turning right, I don't have to stop. Um, if I have a problem, if there's an issue that I'm working on, I will, for the life of me, till I'm blue in the face, try to solve it. And that's just the way I am. So for somebody to tell me to distract myself through something else, that doesn't work. I, I, it, it's, it doesn't work for me. I, I'm not able to distract myself that way. I'm not able to do anything else to break my mind up, to break up the monotony of whatever my problem is that I'm thinking, whatever the issue is that is driving me batty. And I can't just come up with a solution. As much as I would love to have a solution, I don't, you know, that that's how it is with me. That, that's how it goes. And it bothers me to no end, especially um, chat GPT gave me that same advice along with please seek mental help. It, it, it flat out was like, that's it. There's nothing more I can do for you. And I'm still looking into therapy. I'm going to have to have a, I'm going to, I need a therapist anyway for my transitioning, um, so I can get my move job. So I have to get there. Okay. I kind of feel if you did informed consent, for your HRT, you should be allowed to just automatically bypass the shrink for your move job. Like if you're mentally competent enough to do informed consent, like I did, for uh, your gender reassignment, you should be okay to effectively not have to have a surgeon or have the shrink okay you for BA, which is, th that's how I feel about that. I really do feel about that. I feel very strongly about it. That, you know, they should just give an okay and just go, well, do you have a psychiatrist? As I'm going to email, as I do want to go, um, for those that don't know, my plan, air quotes, my plan, um, is to go down to Florida for my boot job. So that should give you an idea of where I want to go to. Um, at least that's my plan anyway. I'm actually, I actually should probably email again and go, okay, just need, just want to double check what I all need. I have started my hormones. I did informed consent through my, in my state for that. So just like going through a list of what I all need. Okay. Wise. I know I need to find a PCP yet, which I'm working on. Honestly, I really am. I'm going to bring that up actually when I go to my, uh, doctor's appointment on the 30th for my transitioning because um, I don't remember the, I got a list from the one that was going to be there so I want to actually ask if they have that list again or if they know of like a list that I can look up or I can go because I forgot where that list is and I don't think I can pull it up anymore it sucks but yeah that has been my 
de facto, um, I guess I want to say just overall week, uh, aside from work being a little busier, which was odd, but then again, uh, as the one put it, it was right after New Year's and everybody's now like, okay, I'm back from my trip. I need to schedule appointments and they went in instantaneously. That's not happening. And yeah, that's not. But uh, yeah. Anyway, guys, uh, that was pretty much how my week went. And for somebody out there going to go, well, if your week was that bad, it wasn't that it was bad. Don't get me wrong. It wasn't bad. It was just eye-opening. I woke up the one day, I felt really good, and that was Thursday. I just felt like I was at peace again. And it was weird that I haven't felt that way in months. It was at peace. I was just 100% zen. And when I woke up and I felt that way, it just, I don't know. I didn't connect the dots, and then when I'm at work and I'm jotting down in my journal and I put down, I think I'm ready to move on. And I saw that then I was like, I'm ready to move on. I'm like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, yeah, you know, I I think I am ready. I think I'm fine. I mean, I still do love my friend. I'm not going to deny that. I can still, if I'm not careful, get lost in her eyes. If I look at a picture of her, um, if I watch like any of her streams or stuff like that, I can actually get a little hung up on her words like I used to, but those are the things that are probably never going to go away. I'm I'm always going to be stuck with those. And that's the sad, honest truth of it. Yet I'm, I, I feel like I'm content enough now with my life to move on and just let it go. It's just weird. I didn't think I would be at that part yet. I wasn't sure if I would ever get that far, but it just took me about nine months to get that far, I guess. So that was my week. I hope you guys have had a good week, though. I hope it's been pleasant and not stressful. Um, I want to take this last little bit while I'm driving home. I'm now I'm at the home stretch now. Um, so some updates I want to do with the channel, and I want to talk about that too quick this week, because I was thinking about it. So, uh, I think I said this, I know I mentioned it in my one, uh, Just the Drives video. By the way, I hope you guys are liking them. I really do, because those are a lot of fun to make, and it's an everyday. I can record those every day and just upload it, provided I make, I keep it at about 10 minutes. Uh, so otherwise it'll take, like, uh, almost an hour to upload, which, yeah, I have got to look into getting better internet is my first problem but uh that being said i do want to try to make some better videos for the channel uh somebody had given me the idea to do a bra try on and i kind of did the clothing video or videos i should say and those seem to go over pretty well i know my gaming videos sadly uh yeah those are uh kind of tanking i haven't really recorded one lately. I do have the one I had to work, I'm still working on for Patreon and Kofi, uh, the behind the scenes video. I think I did two of those and I want to get those, uh, processed and I keep forgetting about working on that. And then there's the other issue of just general, um, BS theory, but I did get on the YouTube partner program this week, which is actually shocking i didn't think i was ever gonna get that far but yes i am now i can monetize my videos which is amazing guys thank you all so much for that by the way for subscribing um i couldn't have happened without you and i'm i'm, I'm very thankful for that um does that mean i'm gonna get rich no <laughs> as honest to god uh that means i'm probably gonna be worse off than i was uh i'm gonna have like a lot of things this year i'm gonna have to deal with tax wise i have, I have a savings account that I'm going to have to deal with. I have a new job. So I got the W-2 from that. I have the W-2 from my old job. I'm going to have to talk with my student loan people. I'm going to have to talk with my health insurance. My health insurance is going to be the worst part because they're going to probably tell me they can't cover you anymore and I'm going to be screwed. 
And I don't want to be screwed. I don't, I don't like being screwed. But, but yeah, somebody also said about doing an ASMR video. So I'm looking into that too, guys. So those are some cool things that are coming down the pipeline. Yeah, but I am now home. And I will catch you all next time. Thank you all for being a part of this journey so far. And I'm, I'm looking forward to more of the same. Bye, everybody. Have a good one.